Got some more breaking news on the political front. This y'all seen a moment ago, Democratic New York Congressman Max Rose, the Democrat, has conceded his reelection contest. He flipped the district from red to blue back in 2018. He was age 30, age 31, got a lot of attention going to Congress. Republican Nicole Maliotakis will represent parts of Staten Island, Brooklyn. That is another win for a female Republican candidate. I want to bring in special report anchor Brett Baer. Brett, good afternoon to you. I believe 217, 203 in the House now. Democrats still have the lead, but uh, this defied expectations, you could say. By far. And, um, you know, the decision desk made the call, as we said last night, about control of the House. Uh, that was accurate. But their estimate about how many seats were going to be plus D uh, was wrong, uh, dead wrong, because the Republicans are now picking up more of the remaining seats that are still yet to be decided. This one, the latest now uh, in that district. And, you know, you look at that and it becomes a situation where if you have a GOP controlled Senate and a House with a slimmer majority, it's a different Washington in how governing goes forward after that. Yeah, it's a great point. Uh, I don't know if you heard the conversation with Doug Collins, but they're full steam ahead in Georgia, as to be expected. They'll start that recount, we believe, perhaps over the weekend. He was suggesting do it on Monday. That way we'll have, uh, we'll have all of our ships in a row there. Uh, here's what I'm being told. Do not expect a quick resolution on behalf of the president of the White House on this. What are you hearing? Same thing, that the fight is not over, that they are still launching uh, more of these legal challenges and that some of them, um, you know, are different than others. Obviously, remember, in 2000, it was a ballot challenge in Florida and different kinds of ballots, but the same basic argument. These are different arguments. And uh, perhaps their biggest argument that they feel successful about is in Pennsylvania about segregated ballots. Uh, and that's moving forward. The biggest question, Bill, in all of these places is, is it enough? even if you get to that point to change the difference in the vote in yeah. each of those states. Uh, that's, that's a fact, and we'll keep our eye on that. Uh, you also have this situation where you, you almost hear Republicans saying, we're going to audit the vote. You, know, you, you had several states that 60 to 90 days out change the way they do it, and they want to see what's behind it and uh, how it turned out this way. Not suggesting the results will be different, but how, how this vote went. Uh, mail-in ballots in some states, absentee ballot by the millions, you could argue, in a way that was not done before. Right? No, it wasn't done before. And this is a direct result from COVID-19. But some people uh, work to change their states late in the game to, to change this. That's not to say that this vote is going to turn out that it's completely upside down. We haven't seen that yet. We have seen indications of uh, strange irregularities in different states. We have seen transparency questions that are legitimate for parties that didn't get in on the count 100 percent. What we haven't seen yet is the case that's going to overturn the state that changes the dynamic. Um, sent out a tweet earlier today. Ronald McDaniel has been rehired, apparently, head of the RNC. Here's the tweet. I'm pleased to announce it. Given my full support endorsement to Ronald McDaniel, continue heading the Republican National Committee. 72 million votes. We receive more votes than any sitting president in U.S. history, and we shall, uh, we will win. It, it is true, 70-plus million votes. Uh, you defended on the Republican Party about 20 seats in the Senate. Uh, the state houses across the country increased the majority for Republicans. All in all, uh, short of the White House, it was a successful turnout when it comes to the get out the vote operation. On that score, Republicans succeeded in this race. Yeah, and Ron McDaniel has a, a case to be made. Uh, I mean, think about going in where we thought we were based on the polls, and they were wrong, but they still had to get, get out the vote in a pandemic. And uh, that is a, a big success, a success story, especially when you look at the House races still being decided and the Senate that looks like it's heading towards GOP control. Thank you, Brett. We'll see you at 6 o'clock tonight on Special Report.